Anthony Pellegrino on how to handle workplace conflict or stress. You may be an expert at handling workplace conflict and stress, but what if those problems arise in your business? In this video, Anthony Pellegrino provides tips on how to handle workplace stress and conflict for business owners. Whether it's communicating with your team or dealing with difficult customers, we have you covered. Keep watching for more. Anthony Pellegrino's Tips for Handling Workplace Conflict or Stress 1. Define the problem. According to Anthony Pellegrino, the first step to handling workplace conflict or stress is to identify and define the problem. What is causing the conflict or stress? Once you have identified the root cause of the problem, you can begin to develop a plan to address it. 2. Communicate with your employees. Once you have identified the problem, it is important to communicate with your employees about it. Let them know what you are doing to address the issue and ask for their input. It is important to get everyone on board with your plan so that it can be successful. 3. Develop a plan of action. After you have communicated with your employees, it is time to develop a plan of action. What steps do you need to take to address the conflict or stress? What resources do you need to implement your plan? Once you have developed a plan, it is important to put it into action. 4. Monitor the situation. Once you have implemented your plan, it is important to monitor the situation. This will help you to see if your plan is working and make adjustments as needed. It is also important to keep communication open so that you can continue to get feedback from your employees. 5. Be flexible. As you implement your plan, it is important to be flexible. Things may not always go as planned, and you may need to make adjustments along the way. The important thing is to stay focused on your goal and be willing to adapt as needed. 6. Evaluate your progress. After you have been working on your plan for a while, it is important to evaluate your progress. Are you seeing the results that you want? If not, what changes do you need to make? Evaluating your progress will help you to fine-tune your plan so that it is more effective. 7. Celebrate your success. Once you have reached your goals, it is time to celebrate your success. According to Anthony Pellegrino, this will help to motivate you and your employees to keep up the good work. A little recognition can go a long way in maintaining a positive workplace environment. Anthony Pellegrino's Concluding Thoughts As a business owner, you will face conflict and stress at some point. According to Anthony Pellegrino, it's important to be prepared to handle these challenges in a constructive way. By following the tips in this video, you can ensure that workplace conflict or stress doesn't get the best of you or your business. Thanks for watching.